Hi, my name is Preston Miller and I'm from Miller Trailer Sales in Eastern Pennsylvania and I'm going to show you how to winterize the Ultimate Toy today. The Ultimate Toy, if you didn't know, is a New Camp um, CSS uh, special. It's wider than the standard CSS made uh, in the Tab 320 and it has the P3 uh, system which is really nice for being able to do a lot of different functions from the outside. Uh, it also has an electric hot water heater, which to some people that's an advantage, to others not an advantage. The advantage of the hot water heater uh, in this is that it takes up less space than the Aldi system would, and you'll never have a problem with your Aldi system. The low cost of the Bosch hot water heater makes it very attractive for the manufacturer to use it and uh, we need to learn to deal with it because it has uh, really good qualities in terms of heating the water quickly. So there are three ways that you can get the water out of this system. The one is to uh, take the unit out of the trailer and dump it upside down because there's no drain plug on it. The second way would be to directly suction it from the top at the plumbing fitting closest to it or the third way would be to suction it from the pipe that goes into the Nautilus. And that's the way I'm going to show you today. So first of all, I want to go over the uh, equipment that you need to do this job. The first piece of equipment, of course, would be your standard uh, P3 Nautilus uh, attachment hose that's going to allow you to screw in and winterize. The special piece you need because of it having the hot water heater that's electric is this hose that I've made up with an adapter from Home Depot. It's a half by half MNPT elbow uh, because it's an elbow it's easier to get in there with that. And then the third thing you're going to need here is you need a siphon that's hooked up to an air compressor. Uh, I have not been able to use a hand siphon to pull the water out of this tank. Um, the air siphon just does a much better job of getting that uh, down into a vacuum and, and evacuating it. The tank is supposed to hold 2.7 gallons. The last year when I winterized and this year the same, I can only get 2.3 gallons out of it, but I'm sure that that extra 0.5 gallons uh, hasn't damaged anything from not getting that little bit out that's at the end. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drain my low point drains which are right here on the rail, on the frame rail. Okay once they all drain out I close them. I'm sorry when we drain them we open them and we open the faucets both in the sink in the bathroom and the sink in the kitchen inside and we flush the toilet and we open the sink uh, here. You put them to the mid position between hot and cold. And then after it all drains down, then you do close your low point drains. Okay, so now I'm closing the low point drains. I drained out my gray tank because any water that was in the gray, I want to let it drain completely. Even while I'm starting to winterize, I want the water out. I will close it right before I finish and put some uh, RV antifreeze down the traps to protect the valve so that it doesn't freeze up. Okay, so the next step is of course get the hot water out of my Bosch hot water heater. I'm gonna take this special hose that I made up. I'm going to disconnect the blue pipe that goes to the top of my hot water heater I'm going to disconnect it over here at the Nautilus system because that's easier than reaching up over top. Once I get it disconnected, I put this hose in place. And just a matter of a minute, I'll have this all screwed tight. Of course, I want to be sure that packing that's in there stayed in there, that it's going to have a good connection. Finger tight is all that's needed. Now I'm going to take this. I'm 
I'm going to take this and hook it to my hose simply by sliding the right size hose into that half inch plastic and I'll turn on my vacuum one more step here we're going to disconnect the hose on the um, hot water side above the check valve I need to let the air be able to get into the hot water tank and I'm going to open my shutoff valve to the hot water and I need to be sure the other valve, the shutoff valve from the blue side is also open which it was from summer. So now I'm going to turn on my vacuum which is just a matter of opening the valve here. And you can see the be sure that I've got it completely drawn out later. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to say that we have it completely empty. Now I'm going to disconnect my hose from the blue water supply line. I'm going to reconnect it to my Nautilus. Make sure it's nice and firmly tightened. Okay, once I've got that tight, I'm going to go up and tighten the hose to my check valve. Okay, and then after I get that tight, I'm going to shut off my hot water. Okay, we got that one tight. I'm going to shut off my hot water supply to my Bosch. I'm going to shut off, yeah, my hot water outlet to the Bosch, and I'm going to shut off the cold water inlet on that tank. So both valves are closed. I'm ready to move on to dealing with the winterizing of the Nautilus. If you don't have it, you should either go on to the new campsite and look up the instructions for winterizing the P3 or print out a copy for yourself just on the winterizing of the plumbing lines and fixtures and continue with the process right here. Everything is very well explained here. I will not go into detail because I don't want to make um, it more difficult than it has to be. They've uh, done it precisely on this diagram. Uh, on these instructions. Make sure that you always plug in and drain, uh, put some antifreeze through this connection because uh, we've already had times when it had not been, uh, antifreeze had not been passed through the outdoor shower and it broke it. So with that said, uh, I hope that you've had time to go camping in your ultimate toy before the freezing weather came, but if not, Got to winterize it now, and you can still go camping because you've got the propane heater that's going to keep you nice and warm, and you just have to uh, maybe eat out and drink bottled water instead of having water at the sink. Happy camping!